and welcome to Pet Lover's Paradise. I'm your host Priya, welcoming you to Season 2 of Pet Lover's Paradise. Friends, last summer we began Pet Lover's Paradise with Maddie. This season we have a new host cat, Maya. Maya is 7 years old, a long haired tabby, and kind of nervous to be here. Hopefully she'll get over that soon. She sort of had a shut up on here as you can see, <laughs> but it's alright. Viewers, please welcome our first guests of Pet Lovers Paradise Season 2, Suzanne Ress and Ali Sigurdsson, along with their puppy, Rusty Roo, or Mr. Romeo. <laughs> Rusty is four-year-old long-haired chihuahua, a very rare breed. This is Ali's first time on our show, and Suzanne is a regular. You probably remember her and Fiona from Season 1. Hi, how are you guys doing? I'm very good. It's nice to be here. Hey, thanks so much for coming, Suzanne. Hello. Hi, Ali. How are you today? Good. Great. So, Ali, tell us a little bit about Rusty. Well, when we first got him, he he had a um, a chihuahua, another chihuahua with him in his uh -huh. um, cage, and they were just kind of they were just sitting there. And then my mom, she went to the shelter to find a she was looking at the shelter mm -hmm. and she said that's the one that I want mm -hmm. and then and then she she went over and she came home and then she said I think we're ready to get a dog and we talked about it for a little bit and then and then um then she said then she, we brought us back she brought us back to the shelter and we picked him out but they said that the owner will come back in if the if the owner doesn't come back in three days you can keep them, but you, but while you're at it, you can keep them. But if they do come back in three days, you you can't keep them. Mm. So then they called us, and then they they said that the owners did not come back, oh. and who wouldn't come back for their dog, and um and then we we got to keep them, and he just been around, and and he just been with our cats because we have two other cats oh. and. Rusty is a long-haired chihuahua, which okay. is fairly unusual. Uh -huh. um, and I mean, you can see when he puts his ears up. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? He's very cute. When oh, he it's puts just his ears up. He's just paying attention. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> it's very nice. attentive. Oh, he's a very sweet dog. I think one of the reasons my mm -hmm. sister Priscilla liked him was that he's very calm for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, Yes, and right now he's giving me Romeo eyes. He sort of like squints at you and says, "Is that like his I want to be loved?" Yes, kind of exactly. Look? <laughs> or, or you're doing something right. <laughs> oh. um, but he's a very sweet dog, and he's very usually very good around animals. Right now he's visiting yes. my other sister, who has Mr. Marty, a big Maine Coon, oh, and I the two of them. As I said, Rusty likes to bark and chase a little bit. I mean, he's a dog. And Mr. Marty doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. So I was over there yesterday, sort of hanging out. And uh, Mr. Marty uh, came down the stairs, and I was uh -huh. on the couch with Rusty. Yeah. And he saw Mr. Marty, so I just reached up and grabbed his collar, because he was on the, being a little dog, he was just on the back of the couch. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Marty slunk through the living room into the kitchen, <laughs> where he got his food. He didn't move. But I think part of the reason he didn't move was I had a, I had his hand on him, mm -hmm. and then Mr. Marty slunk back upstairs. He came down a second time, and I wasn't aware of it. And mm -hmm. all of a sudden, I hear him barking like crazy and grab him just as he's about to exit the couch. Mm -hmm. So, and Mr. Marty's pretty old, so we mm -hmm. try not to get him mm -hmm. overexcited. He's what, 16 years old, or maybe more? Yes, yes. You remember, and we had to talk with him. Uh -huh. about him before yes. and uh, he's Here's very easy care uh -huh. you, when you when you need to clean him off what do you do we put him in the um, the sink and we spray him with the spray hose because it's easier because then you could get all um, then you could just do it everywhere but you don't want to get an eye so my mom oh. does this so you don't mm -hmm. get it in his eyes or sometimes she does which wh whatever way and then we put some soap on him and he's very good about taking a bath but nice. when but we have to, like you have you have to change our clothes after because because <laughs> he he shakes and then he gets soap and water all over us so 
and and uh, I was told that this is not fur. He mm -hmm. has actual hair. So they just use shampoo, regular people shampoo on him. Oh, nice. And conditioner. So which brand do you use on him? Um, we use, sometimes we use the dog. We, we use... Um, we use anything that's around pretty much. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah. So you don't have to go to like a specialty store and pick up dog grooming shampoo or anything like no. that? No. No. Nice. Yeah. yeah it's nice that it's so easy. Mm -hmm. But do you guys ever take him to the professional groomers like at PetSmart or Petco or anything? Um, one time we did take him to um, uh, the pet store and mm -hmm. he got a groom. Um, there was, they we were supposed to um, take him for a bath. <laughs> uh -huh. They took him for a bath. Um, to cl they didn't clean out their ears, like, and then they didn't clean out the, her teeth. So we had to brush her teeth, clean out his ears, and all that stuff. But he did get a little cut and stuff because um, of his knots. He has knots. He gets knots all over his ears and stuff. Wow. Yeah. And uh, how do you solve that problem of the knots? Um, my mom, she takes scissors and um, they, they they either just stay there and then mm -hmm. like we let them fall out by theirself. Uh. Um, or we sometimes we just cut like the tips of the hair. That's so. nice. Do you brush them at all? Um, we we brush them with not a people brush because we don't like to brush them like to get. But sometimes we do because it's just for fun and then. Well, he's very good about brushing. He's not, well, he doesn't really like to, you know, to get brushed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he likes the feeling of when you pat him on the head because, like, nice. like if you if you do a brush on his head, he'll, st he'll still think it's like a hand mm -hmm. moving. Let's just put him down so we can get a, a picture of him standing. Oh, that would be nice. Okay. <laughs> so you can see how tiny he is. Yes. Rest so, how room. Often, so how often do you have to uh, brush his hair? Well, um, like when when he takes the bath, we mm -hmm. have to okay. dry him off with a blow dryer, uh -huh. yeah. and then then we have to brush him. Well, we only do it after baths or like mm -hmm. when he's going to like, um, like um, a TV show because we brushed him this morning, oh, and nice. and then we brushed oh. him in the afternoon before we came here. Um, he really looks nice today. <laughs> <laughs> looks like he got groomed or yeah. something. Well, <laughs> Allie was brushing his hair a little in the car. Nice. Brushed her hair and then she brushed his hair. Mm -hmm. So I didn't think Allie was going to be able to come with us oh. today and it was just going to be me. But uh, I got there and she was, they were home, which I hadn't expected. So I said, come on.